Um, so we have a long ways to go, but as you can see, it's going to be a while because the snow is everywhere still. Hi, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Lori Farm. Look like when they're ripe and ready to be picked. I have a ton of those. We it's still have really fun and wild how crazy this did. This year we're going to plant tomatoes and we're going to do a few different varieties. Um, we're going to get them started in these cups and then we'll um, grow them from seed. It's a lot cheaper than buying plants and then you know exactly what you're getting. So we're going to start with these sweeties. They're a small tomato. And these um, cups I got at just a garden center. They're biodegradable so they're nice when you go to transplant then you don't got to cut them out of a um, plastic cup or anything like that. And it's more environmentally friendly, obviously, because it breaks down. Another thing that I always forget is make sure you label them <laughs> while you're doing it, because it's really easy once they start to grow, they kind of all, all tomato varieties kind of look alike until they actually fruit. So always label them. I'm also gonna do um, these brandy wine ones, these will be uh, bigger. They're gonna be really good for like sandwiches and on burgers and things like that. And then of course Roma for canning and to make sauces and stuff, which I'm actually gonna do this year. I say I'm gonna do it every year and I don't, but I'm going to can this year. Um, we're also gonna do beef steak, another variety that we really like. It's a big juicy one also. And then I'm gonna do some peppers. Um, we're gonna do a variety of uh, big bell peppers and then I'm also going to do just a couple of jalapeno peppers because we like to make salsas and other and jalapenos are really good in like pickling and things like that. You can just use any potting soil or dirt you have in your yard and then just make sure you water them right after you get them planted. Sometimes um, if we're going getting late into the season and I haven't gotten around to this I will soak my seeds for a couple of days or a couple of hours and water. That just helps them sprout a little bit quicker. I really like this time of year because um, quite frankly I'm sick of winter and the never-ending snow we've gotten but I'm really excited because just the anticipation of all the new crop and all, all the fresh vegetables and fruits there's nothing better than a fresh tomato. It's way different than store-bought so just being really hopeful before you have to deal with weather, taking out your crops or animals getting into it or all the frustrations that come along with gardening. You don't have to deal with any of that yet. This is like the hopeful, excited, get to pick and choose what you want to put in your garden and just kind of dream about the future before reality sits in. <laughs> We choose to do everything from organic seed and we also use organic soil or um, dirt from our yard for everything. I kind of really don't um, see a purpose in gardening if you're not going to use good products to grow because you want the healthiest food you can get for your family. So now that we got everything planted, I'm just going through and watering everything. You want to give it a pretty good amount of water. And this is the exciting part. You'll check it every couple of days and pretty soon it'll start sprouting through. And I don't know why, but that is just like one of the most exciting, satisfying um, things to see all your hard work starting to sprout through. And sometimes you'll get, you know, one that's a dud or something and then you just add a little more, another couple seeds to it and keep an eye on it till it sprouts up. I did a lot of um, peppers this year because we eat a ton of them and I hate going to the grocery store. So hopefully I planted a sufficient amount because everyone in the house likes those. And a few things I learned about that is um, when you're planting them, which if you watch our future videos, I'll probably cover this again. Um, I did do some jalapenos and some sweet peppers. You don't want to plant them too close to each other because they will cross pollinate and you'll end up with um, some sweet peppers with a little bit of kick to them. That happened last year. I planted the hot peppers a little bit too close to some of my sweet peppers and didn't realize it until I cut them up and went to eat them and I was a little bit surprised by the heat it brought, which was kind of funny. Um, so just kind of things to be aware of when you do get them sprouted up and they start to flower, you want to make sure there's an adequate spacing so they don't cross pollinate. That can really happen with 
you know, pretty much everything you plant, you can get a little cross pollination in there. But yeah, so we got it all set up and ready to go. Now we just need the snow to melt so I can get out to my garden. I'm hoping the snow melts here soon so in our raised beds I can actually start some spring crops which would be like lettuces and um, broccoli I'm hoping to do this year. Now we're going to move everything into um, the grow light area and get it all started. We've used this greenhouse here for a couple of years and it's worked really well for us. We're hoping this year it um, does really good too and that we get our new greenhouse built outside and we can get everything transplanted in there soon. This is probably the last year we'll have to use this after we get the new one built because then we can just do everything right out there. But it's worked well for the last three years. Shane did a really good job putting it together with stuff that we had in the old aquarium and some grow lights and he's fashioned it pretty nice. One of the things we learned when we started doing this with the aquarium is adding just a little bit of water to the bottom helps with the humidity. And you do need to make sure you have the right amount of humidity when growing plants. Otherwise you're gonna have a really difficult time. So if you'd like to check out some of our garden videos from last summer, you can check them out right here, and thanks for watching. So that take care is about, that take care, that take, I can't even say it now, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. That take cares of? That takes care. The word <laughs> takes is plural. That takes care. <laughs>